So guys, we've got an update on the uh, the tickets, uh, the season tickets uh, situation. Yeah, I'm on Aldi, but uh, still got to bring you the news, haven't we? And there's been a lot of work uh, going on with all the fan groups and the trust uh, and the fans advisory board, you know, and all the fans that have been putting pressure on Wolves. Uh, there was a meeting following all that pressure of the emergency meeting of the fans advisory board last night at Molyneux, which I can tell you went on for around about three and a half hours. Eventually, there were some con uh, concessions. Wolves have uh, put out a statement uh, on their website, uh, which I'll put up on the screen for you. And there is a statement uh, that's just been released from all the fan groups as well, which I'll also put for you. But uh, the statement reads from Wolves. Wolves representatives met with the Fans Advisory Board on Tuesday 4th to discuss the season cricket priorities. It goes on to say it was a productive meeting. The party discussed a number of topics uh, related to the prices, including communication, consultation around pricing, feedback and support of junior fans in particular, which led to an agreement on how to progress. Uh, the following has been agreed, a guaranteed freeze on all adult season ticket prices for the 2025-26 season. So that's the season after next. There will be no guaranteed, no increase uh, The uh, for the 2024-25 season. Uh, the under 14 price increase has now been rolled back and there will be no increase. Um, and it's also said that the price and strategy and structure for junior tickets will be reviewed uh, in conjunction with the fans advisory board and fans from the 2025-26 season. It goes on to say, we deeply value feedback for support of the role of the fans advisory board players in representing their voices, uh, committed to ensuring open communication and collaboration, strive to succeed success, on and off the pitch, and we believe the dialogue reflects the dedication, maintaining strong, competitive, and united Wolves family. Um, so yeah, they're, they're obviously thanking the fans advisory, but let's make no mistake: this is the fans advisory board got it over the line last night. But this is a massively a joint effort from all the major podcasts, fan channels, um, fans' voices, and the 1877 Trust. Um, the, all the noise that's been made on socials and across, you know, our channel, other channels to hopefully get that message rammed home. And, you know, that it is a concession. It's probably more than what some thought we would get. Obviously, uh, the would like to, to have been even more. But, you know, in any negotiation, you've got to um, take your wins when you can. Obviously, the price rises. Is still quite steep this year, and this is the statement that has been released. And this is the statement that's been released from all of the uh, the, the fan groups involved, as you can see at the bottom of the letter. Um, it's about, it basically goes on to uh, talking about obviously all the different things that have been agreed, uh, stating uh, that they welcome we welcome the move. It's an essential move to protect the next generation of Wolverhampton Wanderers supporters. However, we're still concerned about the extortionate price increases in other areas. Despite supporters making their feelings clear in large numbers, the club has shown a lack of understanding of the fan base as well as the demographic and economic situation in the city of Wolverhampton. Um, while today's announcement may have helped to ease the tensions between the club and supporters. There is no doubt trust in Wolverhampton Wanderers hierarchy has been damaged. Fans have stood by the club through good and bad. Now, some of the club's most loyal followers are left with an extremely uh, difficult emotional and financial choice. This is a situation that could have easily been avoided without the fans. Football is nothing, as you can say, regards all of the uh, the fan grapes. So look, it, it is a win. It's not everything that we wanted. It doesn't really take away the issues that have led to this and how the decisions were made. Um, but to me, it's as good as you're going to get. And, um, you know, obviously the club, the, you know, the fans will, of course, as always, be holding uh, the club to account with these sort of things. Of course, transfer policy and everything else around that uh, going forward. 
but like um i think all of us that have been working on this behind the scenes discussing stuff all day every day for the last week on everyone's behalf we're seeing this as a positive that that's happened uh the, the fries freeze the under 14s but leave your thoughts in the comments section uh below and um, there's a lot of work that has got to be done uh, in terms of um, Jeff especially and, you know, the wider Ferguson group to get back uh, the trust of fans because what's happened and the way it's happened was is just ridiculously miscalculation. Uh, anyway, leave your thoughts in the comment section. This is a quick one. As I say, I am on all day. Still trying to report on the news for you. Um, so yeah, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. If you value the video, hit that like button and we'll see you on the next one. Always whoops.